Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Now we've got another um, toothpick frame to look at. A slightly unusual design for this particular frame in the toothpick class. It's got some features that I've not seen in other toothpick style quadcopters up until this point. And these features, they might just be exactly what you're looking for that you've not been able to find before in other toothpick style quads. So we'll have a look at it together and see if this perhaps can suit you down to the ground and the design and build that you want to do. Now this is from a company called Airblade UOV, very, very well known company, um, famous for producing some really nice micro quads, um, excellent frame designs, some really nice little quads uh, that I've enjoyed flying. I've had the Eclair, the 2.5 inch and the 2 inch and fly really nicely and then they're from a, a year or two ago. So this is their latest offering, they call it the EX Ultralight Toothpick. Um, there'll be a, a link to it in the uh, description below so if you want to check this out and, and see whether or not perhaps something you want to buy um, we'll say that from the price range it, it's, it's very very competitively priced and certainly in the uk if you can get it depending on the obviously exchange rate we can get it for under 15 pounds you can get this delivered and not have to pay any import tax vat or all that sort of stuff because it comes underneath that threshold so that could be very appealing especially if you're based in the uk so what we can do is put this frame together and uh, have a look at some of its features and see if perhaps that is something that could suit the build that you want to do down to the ground. But before we do that, let's just take some measurements. It's a, a true X frame, so it's uh, exactly equal distance from front to back as it is side to side. But let's have a look at the thickness of the carbon here. And that's coming in around about two and a half millimetres. So quite nice. And then let's have a look at side plates that's coming in about two millimeters nice as well that seems to be very good quality carbon a little bit of flex to it but you need that with these small quads you don't want it to be too stiff but you also don't want it to be too soft as well we don't want to get any breakages but it seems to be quite quite nice sort of that in between point um, the edges are chamfered as well which is nice I know some people really like chamfered edges on their carbon very clean I've got any dust on my fingers as I can see so yeah very nice frame so what we'll do is we'll put this together and then we'll have a look at it in a bit more detail so here we have the frame all put together uh, quite a simple build process you just basically attach these little plastic standoffs with the M2 screws onto one of these side pieces here uh, slot that into the little tab area base plate and then uh, put the other area in and just screw it on it takes a few minutes and it goes together quite nicely the weight is coming in around about 15 grams or so so not too bad weight wise depending on how much you know, this carbon you've got here see that's going to create some weight different from perhaps a normal design uh, toothpick style which would have a uh, uh, a TPU 3d printed perhaps canopy something like a canopy like one of these or maybe like one of these Got some canopies there there's a little newbie drone one as well. So normally that's the canopy that you'd have, like a nice 3D printed part like that to fit your little camera. But this doesn't have that. And that's the first sort of major change that we can see in this particular quad. The fact that it's reliant on some carbon to mount the camera and not a 3D printed part. Now, I know some people, well, they like the 3D printed parts. Perhaps they design their own. They put their own little flare on, on that part. To really set their quad apart maybe from other people's designs or other people's quads uh, certainly manufacturers like to do that as well uh, but this obviously doesn't have that um, it has the carbon instead and though that will suit other people perhaps they don't like 3d printed parts and they want their their camera to be held more securely and this will certainly hold it more securely but it's becoming obvious now as to also another slightly uh, unusual feature of this cam um, this quad so the camera size here isn't 14 mil, which it normally is for these little toothpick style or smaller, um, but it's in fact a 19 mil camera mounting. Now, obviously, you can always use on these little mounts here to take your 14 mil camera up to 19 mil. This is the run cam version for the Nano 2, so you can fit that in there and, and run a, a smaller camera if you want to. But you can also run the larger cameras, and I know some people are very keen to run the 19 mil cameras because the lens is often bigger, the sensors can be bigger. Perhaps their favourite camera only comes in a 19mm size. Up until this point, they haven't been able to use it, maybe on a toothpick style, sort of ultra lightweight 
end of the end of the you know quads and put a three inch but now you can with this if you choose to so that's another feature that, that perhaps might appeal and certainly will not appeal to some people as for the other features this has but it has the skinny arms obviously of a toothpick to make it lighter weight and it takes a, a three inch or so prop so you've got bi blades and tri blades to go on there depending on the props that you particular favor with the motors that you favor as you can see is only space for the three screws to mount the motor there and it's the the nine mil uh, mounting pattern so you're talking an 11 or maybe a 12 size uh, motor and though a lot of people now are going to the 12 size motor so 1203s 1204s that sort of size away from the 1105s 1106s uh, because even though say what 1205 is you know isn't the same as the 1106 well to a certain extent but there's differences in where you get the power and the controllability and the feel on the sticks some motors appeal to some and some motors appeal to others so certainly um, you can uh, put the motors on that, that you want in that 9mm motor size pattern which there's endless motors that you could go and look at depending on, on your budget and, and the motors that you like but certainly I'll probably recommend using a, a 12 size that extra width does seem to help with the torque and to give that throttle resolution that, that, that makes the quad feel a lot nicer to fly so uh, that's what I'd recommend but obviously you can build it any way you want the options are there for you to do that also we have other options as to the uh, flight controller that we're going to use in the ESC obviously as you can see quite clearly there turn this round you've got the whoop style holes for the whoop board there's the four mounting holes there so that's very popular one board very lightweight certainly um, you can get uh, 3s 4s boards quite reasonably priced nowadays but also there's the mounting holes for the 16 mil and I know a lot of people are turning to 16 mil stacks because they're also coming in three 4s variants 15 20 uh, amp draw so they can really appeal and, and fly really well and as I mentioned in other videos if you have a double board system with an ESC and flight controller well if one goes you can easily replace it with a whoop board if it's not a good board if you're going for a cheap option well if it burns out pap one ESC well that's it the whole board's going in the bin and you're having to buy a new board and not just replace the ESC so there are advantages for the 19 mil um, sorry the um, 16 mil stacks and I recommend you think about it and especially look at the weight because the weight difference can be in some cases a gram or half a gram so worth considering but this also has extra mounting points as you can see 20 mil mounting points now that's quite unusual i'm not sure of any other sort of toothpicks or quads that, or frames that call themselves toothpick size having the 20 mil mounting points now for some people not being able to mount their favorite 20 mil stack on a on a quad well that's you know a no-no for them they're not going to build without that that stack that's the stack they always use they get the best results it's their favorite and that's the one they go to every single time and so far they've been left out of the the toothpick size the toothpick uh, style uh, quads maybe they're keen to get into it but with this frame you can do that you can mount your um, 20 by 20 your 16 by 16 or your whoop style the 26.5 i think by 26.5 something like that so you've got those three mounting options for different flight controllers escs and whatever you want to go with depending on what you like and what you like to fly with but the options are there on this particular frame obviously the more that you uh, increase the size so going from a 16 uh, to a 20 you're going to increase the weight so you've got to then work out um, the motors you want to use whether you want it to be a 2s a 3s or maybe even a 4s and then we get to batteries what batteries are we going to use with this particular quad we've got these holes here on the side um, so they fit quite nicely for a battery strap their blade make very nice battery straps other companies as well just having a quick look um, because of one of the, the problems with this design I suppose because of these little tabs here I'm going to show you they stick down below the base plate so they create something um, sort of below the depth of that base plate so when you mount perhaps this is a, a slightly older design 2s but certainly it's similar in size to maybe some 3s and 4s batteries as you can see there it, it's sitting on those particular points there 
Now you might be fine with that, or you might not be very happy with that. That's up to you, but that's certainly something worth considering. Unless, of course, you go for these slightly newer size uh, style batteries. This is another 2S from GMB, but look, that now fits. You can see quite clearly in between those two points. And so therefore you get a uh, slightly better fit. So that's some things to think about, especially with the batteries you want to go for. So perhaps something that's a bit wider, maybe not, but a lot more batteries and life is now coming in at this thinner size. This is the um, 2S and 3S and 4S are coming in as thinner size, which means that uh, you can easily fit them there without perhaps having the danger of damaging that. Or if you want to, um, you can run one of these 3D printed parts, which I found on Banggood. Interesting designs there, different sizes, but because of the whole mounting they have, they actually fit the same width as the whoop connection there. So you can just mount it on like that, and then you can just slide in your LiPo. As depending on which lipo you want to go for, these kind of fit really um, sort of 2s, maybe a 3s, depending on its size, into these. So that's another option if you don't want to go for a battery strap like this. So there we are, the uh, toothpick design quad from Airblade UAV. Nice little frame, nice little build, really simple, put together. So uh, perhaps that's something you want to go for. As you said, the uh, the link to it is in the description below, so if you want to purchase this frame, feel free to do that. Uh, and thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate your time, everything we've gone through here, and, and the, the points that we've discussed together as well. So thanks a lot for your time, and perhaps I'll catch you in another video in the future. Take care, bye.